Hello guys. So Peter is challenging just Michael and I. Yep. And um, yeah, as you see, we have two hazy looking beers in front of us. And we just decided that because we're both right-handed, we'll start with the right one. Yeah. So oh, the one on our right. Um, <laughs> and it's almost going wrong from the beginning. Um, yep. Yeah. It looks a bit, uh, a bit fizzy. Yeah. Or orangey, yellowy. Orangey, yellowy, like the color of the sun. Yeah. And not Actually. not a lot of head, but a bit nope. a bit foamy. Yeah. Yeah. It looks quite nice. Yeah. A bit like apple juice, actually. Yeah. A bit. <laughs> yep. No, quite Let's, cold. <laughs> Sorry. Let's yep. see how it smells. It uh, smells like something funky. Yeah, funky, but not too sour. I don't think it smells. It's not sourness in in your face. It's definitely no, no, not it's, IPA. Um, it's no, no. It's it's balanced. It's it's definitely um, some kind a, of uh, a funky wild ale yeah. or some kind of not too old lambic. Yeah, I totally agree. Because it still smells pretty fruity and young. But um, there's not. Uh, I don't get uh, much fruit in the nose. It's it's quite. Uh, I'm getting quite subdued. a bit of. What about uh, you're not getting like apricots? Yeah, I get the, the, the regular stone fruit, but mm. other than that, it's That's not. Uh, also, a bit of like a pepperiness, a bit of hay. A bit Maybe of hay. A bit of like a almost peppermint touch or something. I get the hay and I get the stone fruit. I think it has a bit of like a minty touch, but it's very light. Yeah. Let's try it. Not a lot of herbal notes. No. Yeah. Let's try it. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Quite balanced. Yeah, lactic acidity. Yeah, much more stone fruit in the taste. Yeah, and again, it's as I thought, Peach. like pretty, pretty young, fresh tasting. Yeah. It's not, it's not definitely not something that's really aged, and it doesn't have. It has a very. I think this has been aged in oak, but it's very like subdued. It's it's very soft. It's yeah. not like a big oak. soft oaky profile. Yeah. And then I get apricots and peaches. Yeah, mostly. and also a bit of like a citrusy, like a citrusy yeah. kind of a le lemony, limey. Le totally agree. Lime, probably like, uh, sorry, lemon. Yeah, I get more lemon than lime in mm. the... Quite fluffy texture. But the funk is so mellow. Yeah, it's really balanced for the beer. Uh, it's almost just like this pleasure. hay kind of thing. It's not yeah. really like a super barnyardy or celery nope. or cheesy. It's it's crushable. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and I, I really like the mouthfeel. I feel I think it definitely contains some some wheat or like rustic grains. Yeah, yeah, and I think that the carbonation is also quite good for this yep. one. Should we it's taste the other? Very one? nice texture. Yeah. Oh, smell it. Oh, smell it first. Yeah, smell it first. And yeah, this one has a slightly oh, bigger yeah. head. Yeah. And Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. It smells totally different. Mm -hmm. This is much more herbal now that, uh, as you mentioned, herbal. Yeah, much herbal more. Herbs. And I get and hops. Also, yeah, yeah. It also just. Uh, and there's something tickling in the nose much more than this one. It's much more popping. Yeah. But what is that? I get some pomelo, pomelo notes or some grapefruit or something. I'm actually getting a bit of like almost a gin touch. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally agree. A bitter, bitter touch. Yeah, it has yeah. these uh, like um, piney notes. Yeah, yeah, and also just like a gin, almost like a gin tonic vibes. Vibes. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, totally yeah. agree. Yeah, and it, yuzu, some kind of citrus fruit. Yeah, along with that gin yeah. thing. It's interesting. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, much more fruity, but also most acidity. Really acidity and more juicy. Yeah. Again, I get the citrus fruit and much more like prominent, more foamy. Yeah. You know, in, on the it's really I, I, a little higher carbonation too. But yeah, a bit more sour. Mm. I really get the juice. This is like drinking some uh, citrus fruit juice, much more than stone fruit in that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's even more lemony, mm. I'd say, I mean, also limey. Lemon, lime, and again, that yuzu. Yeah, almost yuzu. Uh, yuzu unripe oranges or something. Mm. Yeah. But I'm still getting that gin herbal yeah. kind of thing. That's not as prominent in the taste as in the nose, but no, but it's, it's very definitely prominent there. in the nose. Yeah. 
I, I wonder if this if it's like gin barrel aged or something. It, it, I really enjoy this one. Mm -hmm. Much actually, much more than this one. This is more mellow and balanced, but this is more popping and fresh, and I, I quite enjoy this. Yeah, both are, are very nice. But they're much di very different. Very yeah, different. this also when you go back to it, it has it smells sweeter. Too. Yeah, actually, it almost has like a touch of honey. Yeah, some actually. sugar coated peaches, a sugar coated yeah. apricot. It's yeah. more like canned. Uh, canned yeah, I get the honey nose fruit. too. Uh, this one is more like really fresh fruit. This is more like a canned, almost. Uh, yeah, canned stone, fruit. Stone fruit. Yeah, I totally agree. It's hard to say. They're definitely good, but they're so different. They both have really nice sides. Mm. This I this one I is just a bit more easy going. I, I'd probably prefer this if I just needed something that was really easy going. You know, but if if I were to, on a to, summer day, if you're thirsty, yeah. But also, if I this makes me think a little bit more. So I would drink this. If if, you know, it, <laughs> it makes it, you think. Yeah, it, th it makes me think a bit more than this one. This is just a bit more easygoing. I feel like this makes me, you know, think more about the beer. Or about the beer. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it made you think. Mm -hmm. I think I prefer this one if I should prefer any of them, but I think they're very different, mm. very different. I like the gin note in that one, the juniper, juniper, yeah, yeah, gingery, yeah. But it also definitely has a, like a, a higher acidity. It's not acidity. so funky, this one. No, none of them are super funky. Um, a little more carbonation in this one too. Again, I, my guess is either they are young, Land mix. Young and old? No, I wouldn't guess any of them are old. No? I think both of them are young. Okay. But I, I, I'd I mean, say... Lambics are not my sharpest uh, <laughs> references, but, but I try. Your strength. Yeah, it's not my, my no. big strength. But I would guess they are either like young Lambics or, or maybe spontaneously fermented wild eels. Yeah. In that, are we close? And I'd guess so, are they are five, five to six, maybe six percent. Yeah, I totally agree. On yeah. percent, perhaps, perhaps seven, but yeah, six or seven percent. Yeah. And again, there's something about this one. I don't know if it's maybe gin barrel aged or something, or if it contains some kind of Special. herbs. But but it, I feel like there's definitely something else about this one compared then to this one. Yeah, I totally agree. This one, I'm not getting. But it could be the <laughs> fruit that are more prominent in this one, because it's younger, it actually, perhaps. Maybe, maybe this one actually has peaches and and. This is definitely more sweet. Yeah, yeah, but that's maybe what's giving it away that it, it, this one could contain peaches and. Yes, yeah, sweet all. peaches. Yeah. And this is more, for me, citrus fruity. Yeah. Uh, different citrus fruity, and then again that ginger vibe. Yeah. Gin, juniper, pine thing. Yeah. If it's a gin barrel or it's some kind of I just can't figure out figure out if there's some also maybe fruit added to this one. But no. I but I just I'm impressed by the, the smell the, in this one is fantastic. Yeah. But I'm just impressed. I, I, I'm getting more and more uh, I, I believe more and Honey more wise. that this one has maybe fruit in it. Mm -hmm. But um I'm just a bit surprised that the acid the acidity is, is this soft, but maybe if it's really young, that explains it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not that good in that, so I'll just let you talk because, <laughs> yeah, I haven't tasted that many uh, fruit lambics. Uh, no. and then but also, so, be yeah. also because it's not like a massive fruit character, but the nose maybe has a bit of it. I, I'm, I'm not completely sure, but mm. that could contain maybe fruit, and I think this has some kind of maybe different barrel or, yeah. So, so don't think there's fruit in this one. Do you think it's a goose? I think it, yeah, it, it has some vibes. That's not a completely yeah, straight I goose. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a completely traditional goose. No, but it, it could is. be. Yeah. And that's why I'm maybe more leaning to some kind of spontaneously fermented wild yeah. ale or something from the US that is a little more experimental where they maybe use a different kind of barrel that you than you normally use, so it's not just completely neutral old oak. But yeah, I don't know. I haven't tasted Fufun a lot of time, but this is not Fufun. No. Okay. I don't think so. No? 
It's just the, I mean, the peaches and the... This one, you know, you, you mean this one, if this is Fafoon? No, this one. Oh. I mean apricots, peaches. I don't think this I just is... remember Fafoon being much more vibrant in, okay. in flavor than, yeah. than this one. But I've maybe, only tasted Fafoon one time, I think, so... Yeah, I've, I've, I've only had it with a bit of age on it. Okay. So and the last Fafoon I had was much more intense than this. Okay. So, so we're going for some kind of American uh, wild fermented uh, beer? I think it's really tough to call it if it's a wild ale or maybe a very young. Could it Mavic, be some kind I, of Tilkin? No, I think they're more barnyardy. The one I've had in the yeah, I think uh, I think days. yeah, my my I think yeah. they aren't as funky as as a lot of lambic. So maybe I would go for wild Americans, ales. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, let's let's go for a six. But if they five, are six, from seven the, percent. If if they aren't uh, if they aren't from the US, then they are some pretty young examples of yeah. some some spontaneously maybe, fermented yeah. beer from from Europe. I totally agree. But yeah. what do we say about fruit? Do you think there's fruit in it? I don't. We have to guess. I mean, again, I, mean, I, I think this one has fruit in it. Yeah, and I get more I taste it. Yeah, apricots or peaches. Yeah, yeah I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. And but, ripe ones. And this one. It's. I think it has a. There's a some kind of different barrel. I, again, I'm guessing gin barrel. It could also. It could be. also be some kind of herb, or herbs. Yeah, that gives that. And then again, yeah. I get a really strong citrusy yuzu. Yeah. Pomelo. Yeah. Right. It, it. It. That's not. You know. Necessarily untrue. That. That. Yeah. It could contain that. I just. I don't, I don't, I'm not. I'm just a bit unsure of why you would compare them if they are such. Yeah, di- I totally agree. I don't uh, see the, com- the, yeah. the, the similarities. Because they are very different. Very different. Yeah. Great. Oh, I mm-hmm. mean that's hard. I think maybe. I don't know. I think I would give this one a ninety-three, and this one. Ninety-three, maybe this one ninety-two, maybe both of them ninety-three. Yeah, ninety-two, ninety-three, for me. But that's preference. I like the popping uh, citrusy notes more than the, the sweet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I'm more or less, more, probably ninety-two on both. I yeah, I, I don't really enjoy one much more than the other. No, I I tend to agree. But yeah, but yeah. I, but, I, but I think both are, are very nice beers. Yeah, and that's. Yeah. Both have a pretty good balance too. But if I should prefer one, I think it would be the yeah. more popping one. Yeah. Yep. Close your eyes. Yeah. Okay, you can't open your eyes yet. No. But no. I'll just show these to the camera. This is what we're drinking. And I can tell you guys before you, I'll put them on the table and before you guys open your eyes, I'll tell you something you, you can't open yet. No. Nope. So this is a study in age. One beer has been aged for seven years. Mm. The other one is dead fresh. Open your eyes. Okay, wow. <laughs> My god, it was Fufoon. It was Fufoon. <laughs> and I haven't even tasted it. So the one that's yeah. quite sour is the young one. Almost all the flavor of the peaches is fermented out or yeah. just eaten up by bugs. Yeah, because you can't taste any. I like... think there is a subtle one. I think, uh, and the fun thing, the, what you talk about so gin herbal? barrel. Why but what you so talk herbal? about in terms of gin barrel, the first thing I smelled, and maybe because I knew it, was age in terms of more woody oxidized like it it tastes a bit more like wood almost like a bit porty yeah uh, or sherry maybe more sherry in the old one this is the old one yeah this, this is, is the old one, one. Yeah. so the popping one is the old one yeah yes oh my freaking god but but the thing is that wow. one tastes more juicy yeah yeah and i think we should for sure not drink everything now because they're way too cold it's going to open up and be much more popping this one once it warms but what's also really fun is that this vintage was bottled when I was at, or uh, uh, conditioned on the peaches, when, or apricots when I was at the brewery. Okay. So I was actually seeing them cutting these. Uh, so we're trying it really fresh. And wow. it's the first time I've seen it's a so Cantillon beer with yeah. a different cork. I think they just changed corks for the new uh, releases of 22. Um, so, but I got this one from Pau. Okay. Or Pau, Lau. <laughs> Sorry, Lau. <laughs> you already I got had an Lau. old Fufun. So I had a 16 Fufun yeah. in my cellar. Yeah. So this is the 16. Oh, so you and then I got a 22 one. from Lau because this wasn't released in Denmark XFIF or yet actually I think. And okay. the reason that's been of it has been in packs. Yeah. And Lau had a lot. It's so it was like you could buy one. How different me. this one is from the 19 for Foon I had. But you know what? I think Not it needs to sit ago. in the bottle for a little bit more because when I poured it out, you could see that it just stopped being ropey. 
Okay. It was it, that that you could see when you poured it out, there was a lit like there was some resistance going out mm. of the bottle the last few drops, mm. and I think that's part of the mouthfeel, but that's also because of the amount of peaches or uh, apricots in there yeah. that you get a more fluffy mouthfeel. But this one has developed a little bit of funk, mm. but I don't think it's tons compared to a goose. Also, considering it's seven years old, yeah. Like, and I'm. I've always said that for food with age gets too sour to drink. That's not the case here. No, I don't no, know no. if we. No. It's a hit, little more acidic for this. Yes, but crazy. I don't know if we've it's hit nice a, acidity. Yeah, I, I don't know if we've hit a point on, in age now where this acidity is mellowed again or something like that. I'm not sure. And oxidation has mellowed the acidity or something like that because it's I've definitely had, more barrel character. Yeah, than old one. but because I've had vintages of food that are old that has been like scrapingly sour almost undrinkable yeah. so it's almost like as if you have to have have to wait for a certain amount of time for it to be more drinkable yeah at least from my experience but actually frederick my boss offered also to pitch in with a 20 bottle or 21 mm -hmm. uh, but i thought two was fine because they're going to be quite different anyways yeah anyway. yeah so yeah they are vastly different yeah i'm just i i I'm just surprised by that herbal thing yeah. in this one. What and the hell gives that? And that, that juniper uh, yeah. thing, yeah, it was really ginny. Why does it smell it, and taste, taste a bit like gin? Yeah, like really, and it was, I, I get all those citrus so vibes weird. in this one, really. I mean, yuzu, pomelo, bitterness, it was yeah. just uh, citrus galore in yeah. this one. And this was sweet, ripe uh, peaches, uh, apricots, we also yeah. guessed that. Yeah, yeah, and you actually said for food. Yeah, yeah. But, but you never had it. One time at Thomas's, uh, quite young too. But I don't think this, this one. I it's think it's so different from the one I had, I had. Yeah. Only a month. And that ago. could be the crop of of. Uh, pe uh, a bit but but this shows. Yeah, but also age because the one yeah. I had was a nineteen. This and shows in between exactly these two. how how it it. Uh, it how develops. It, yeah, how yeah. it develops in the bottom. Yeah. So that that's what I thought would be fun. You can even yeah, see fun. here. There's a line from where the cork has been sitting. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, so that does it for this blind tasting. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We got some more coming because both I got another one and Brett's got another one. So yeah. it's going to be fun. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram and leave a comment down below if you have one. And uh, cheers to the boys and a good yeah. job. Thanks for the taste. And and see uh, you guys. Yeah. Another blind tasting. Yeah.